Hello everyone. Welcome to Unlock Maths. Today we have to find CF for some examples. In last lecture we have discussed methods for finding CF. So yes, here we have given differential equation. This is linear differential equation with constant coefficients, right? So now first we have to write down this equation in operator form. That means we have to put this d by dx as a d capital D, right? So that means we have here yes. So we will write down this equation in operator form. Yes, many times this form is also known as a symbolic form. Yes, now we have to find auxiliary equation and this is given by this f of d is equals to 0 and this is yes we have write down this equation in this form yes an auxiliary equation is given by this f of d is equals to 0 yes now we have to find the roots of this auxiliary equation yes we can check that this is yes this is standard form this is a cube minus b cube right so we can write this is as a yes and we know what is this factorization yes we have this one yes so we will write down this as a so that we can find its roots yes now we have this is d is equals to 2 and now yes we have to find the roots of this equation yes we know that if we have any quadratic equation of this form we have root value of x we have given here by this formula yes so now we want the roots of this equation so yes what we have we have this is so now we have to find the value of d here yes what we have we have compared this is here a is equals to 1 b is equals to this is 2 and c is equals to 4 and we have put down all these values here now we have to simplify this is yes so we got this is here d is equals to minus 1 plus minus root 3i right so we got here this is from this quadratic equation we got yes now we can check that we have complex and distinct root yes these are two complex roots and this one is yes this is real and these are the complex right complex and distinct roots yes we got yes here we have cubic equation so we got three roots here now we have to find the CF for this one. Yes. So, yes, we know that when we have D is equals to this roots, we have CF. Now we have D is equals to this is this three roots. So in that case, what is CF? This is a real root. So we have to write this is C1 e raised to this is twice X. Yes, this two here. And for this one, yes, here we have alpha is root minus 1 and beta is here root 3. So, what is here? E raised to this is minus x. Then C1 cos of root 3x plus C2 sin of root 3x. Yes, this is the CF for given differential equation. Here we have 3 roots, so we have to take 3 constants here. 
so this is the required cf we have find now similarly here we have next differential equation we have to write down that is in operator form yes yes now auxiliary equation we have to put this f of d is equals to 0 and that is here yes this is here 4 d raised to 4 plus 4 d square plus 4 is equals to 0 yes now we have to find the roots of this one so yes how to find roots now here yes we can check that this is we can write this is at z d square plus 2 8 square right yes how we got this is here if we put d is equals d square is equals to t we will get here t square plus 4 t plus 4 yes and this is what t plus 2 8 square yes and what is t this is a d square yes so we got this here now we can check that again we can factorize this is as so we got yes so yes we can check that we will get here yes again we can simplify what is we have here d square is equals to minus 2 so yes so we need d value of d so we have to write this is as so we will write this is as a root 2 and root of minus 1 so we have yes we will get two values here so this is root 2 and root of minus 1 this is i so we got here yes this is same here so we got from this one we will get the value two values yes for this factor and for this we will have yes we will have d is equals to yes so now we got here this four roots yes so how the roots are here these roots are complex and equal yes we got here four roots we got here two pairs of complex roots so now we have to find cf for this is yes we know that when we have this root of pairs complex and equal in that case what is cf we have this cf yes here we have two pairs of roots that means here we have four roots so here we have to take four constant and we have to write down cf in this form now we have here we got this roots yes two pairs of complex roots so alpha is here zero and beta is here root two yes this is alpha is here real part and beta is imaginary part so yes so cf we have to write down so in this way we have write down cf for these complex roots yes on simplification this is we will get this is as a one so we will get this is so yes in this way we have find cf for given differential equation yes how we have find cf for this given differential equation first we have write down this differential equation in symbolic form that is also known as operator form then we have find auxiliary equation then finding the roots of this auxiliary equation we got this pair of complex roots yes and depending on this roots we have find this cf so yes in this way we have find the cf for imaginary roots so yes that's it for now see you in the next video thank you keep watching